So what are some of the controversies with hormone replacement for women? Several years ago, there were some scientific studies that actually showed some negative consequences to taking hormone replacement. During the study, they found that women were at increased risk for heart disease and strokes when they took hormone replacement, and that they also had a predisposition for getting breast cancer. However, we've actually gone back to reanalyze these studies, and what they found was several problems. There were many flaws with the study. So what were some of the flaws of these studies? One, the studies looked at all women regardless of age. They looked at women between 45 to 79 years of age. Two, they took all women regardless of their past medical history. They looked at women who had heart disease, had strokes, and also had a family history or a personal history of cancer. And lastly, there was no monitoring of any of these patients. No laboratory values were assessed to see if they were actually reaching therapeutic goals or were they overreached. When I use hormone, bioidentical hormone replacement, we have a very long process of how we see if someone is a candidate for hormone replacement. One, we review your past medical history to see are you a good candidate? What is your family history? What is your personal risk for heart disease and strokes and cancer? Two, when we use hormone replacement, we're only using bioidentical natural hormones because we know these hormones are less likely to cause problems. In the WHI study and the nurses study, they only use synthetic hormones. These are, these are viewed as foreign by your body and are more likely to cause problems. When we use natural hormones, the body does not react to them the same way because there's, this is exactly what your body is producing and it, so it is not viewed as foreign. And the last thing that I do that is different from the other studies is that we actually monitor by blood work. Once your hormones are on, after two to three months, we will actually reassess by laboratory studies to see have you reached therapeutic goals or have, are you still under or are you over, and then we can readjust the dose. It is very important to check these blood levels because it helps us understand where you are and where you need to go to. Women who are going to benefit from bioidentical hormones the most are really women who have just entered menopause. Someone between 45 to 60 who's in relatively good condition health-wise and has a family history of osteoporosis. These women will do fabulous on hormone replacement because they have very little risk and have a great need that can be fulfilled with hormone replacement.